Hello Patreon supporters, it's your host John Young and we're going to have a look at the Black Ace Fished model and this is Lily. So here we go, oh that's my foot. So here we go, here is the full set, excuse me Lily. So this is the full, fully built set, uh, it was three bags. Uh, the first bag was this, was the cockpit area, the second bag was the wing and the third bag was the wing here and then the these pylons just here. Um, so I'll just pick it up. It's a very long set. Um, so it's been pretty difficult to photograph. <laughs> so it, it kind of feels like a Jedi Interceptor. Um, but just different colours and a bit longer. Um, which I think is pretty cool. It looks pretty spot on for what we got in the Resistance series. Um, we've got two flick missiles on each, well one on each wing. Um, for the most part it's two to three um, bricks um, deep on the wings. The cockpit is pr pretty much a standard uh, cockpit size for a TIE fighter. Um, and so a few stickers, so you got uh, some on the top here, um, one at the top of the cockpit and then some on the wings and um, yeah I think that was it for the stickers. Uh, so yeah it's a really cool looking set, uh, the cockpit, oh I'm just pushing everyone, uh, the cockpit of course opens to seat a minifigure. Um, and you can see there, there's um, some printed tiles in there to show off the, um, and if you can hear my cat is purring, uh, to show off these um, consoles. Um, these I found really interesting, um, these pylons here. Uh, they look pretty cool and pretty simple to, sorry, just not the camera, to build. Um, so I found these quite interesting to, uh, interesting techniques. And we've also got at the back here, this engine comes off and it has a small, um, small bit, a uh, small car kind of cargo area where I guess we would be putting the spare uh, missile, but I've put that in my spare box now anyway, uh, so I'll just, I'll leave that there. So minifigures, um, it came with three, so we'll start off with everyone's favourite, Poe Dameron. Um, I do believe this is a new um, minifigure of Poe, um, I think the head is, very, is the same as one we've already had before. But the body, the torso has been, um, normally there's like a bit of orange on the side I believe, but now they've done it solid white and then printed on, um, on the front and the back. His legs have got printing, comes with a blaster and the, oops, just throwing them all over the place, and the hairpiece as well. He also has, so he's got his um, kind of Smirky face, if we can focus. Smirky face. Pop the hair off. It's a pretty sweet looking ship, isn't it? Pop the hair off, and he's got his frowny face. Can't really see because of the focus. It's not working for me. But yeah, he's got a frowny face. Then we've got everyone's favourite BB unit BB-8, um, standard BB-8 uh, minifig model, and then we've got Griff O'Hall Griff Halloran. Is it Griff O'Halloran? Bear with me. Keep looking at that. Griff Halloran. I thought it was Griff O'Halloran for a second. Oh well. So. Wearing the kind of the TIE fighter style, like kind of a slightly modified TIE fighter um, 
pilot outfit, uh, wearing a vest as well. Single-sided face, he's got his grim looking, a grim expression. Uh, got the hair, and the hair comes off, of course, because uh, it also he also comes with his signature helmet, which is the TIE fighter, TIE fighter pilot helmet with the printed uh, skull decal on the front, and that looks pretty cool. And so you just pop off the hair, and stand him up to do it, and slide it on, and there we go. Griff in his full pilot regalia. Um, I'm pretty happy the fact that you know we've got a, re a resistance set here. Um, I feel really let down that we've not had many resistance sets. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some more uh, next year with the final season. Um, the selection of minifigures I found quite strange. I don't know why we got Poe and BB-8. I know they're in the show, but you know this could have been an opportunity to kind of have. Uh, some other uh, resistance characters, um, you know, some of the newer characters put in there. Um, but you know, I've made my I've made my thoughts on this uh, pretty clear uh, in various posts and podcasts. So um, I'm not going to bore you with it now. Uh, so that's it for this episode and for this build. Um, as it was a small build, I didn't feel the need to stretch it out. Um, thank you for your continued support on Patreon. Um, it really means a great deal, and all of your contributions are going towards new stuff for uh, next year's Star Wars Celebration. So, um, thank you again, and punch it chewy. <laughs>